Is sex education or abstinence only education better? And why are some people excluded from both approaches? My position on sex ed in schools is that it's definitely a necessary essential for students to know um, what they're getting into. Abstinent, to talk about abstinence as an option for some folks is one thing, but to have a program that is only about abstinence is ineffective and proven so. I'm Tashar, a current high school student investigating the state of sex education and explore why the LGBTQ community are often excluded from the conversation. My views on sex education is in schools is that it's very inadequate. Planned Parenthood strongly believes that comprehensive sexuality education should be taught in all public schools. The reality is that um, all human beings, including young people, uh, enter into their sexuality um, and asking people to just say no uh, has never worked. I think abstinence only education can be very exclusionary to some people who it doesn't apply to. Um, for example, there are people who do choose not to have sex and that's their personal choice, but everybody's values aren't the same. And and using an abstinence only uh, forum definitely cuts out a large population of people who might be engaging in sex. You know from study after study that the more you give information to youth about sexuality, the more equipped they are to manage things like an unintended pregnancy. Sex education is vital for our young people. I mean, they have to know, number one, how to understand their bodies, to feel comfortable in their bodies, to understand what's going on. They also need to know how to stay safe. And that's especially true for our LGBTQ kids. I received sex education when I was in school and I thought it was exceedingly helpful. Um, uh, it broke down a lot of taboos. It informed me as to what was safe and what was not. Um, and most probably, frankly, saved my life as a, as a gay man, uh, learning about uh, the use of condoms, for example. Only 22 of the 50 states require sex education, with the others promoting abstinence only or no requirements for sex ed. Yet, both strategies tend to overlook one crucial group, the LGBTQ community. I don't know why the LGBT community is excluded from sex education. Like, I, I want to be included. I, like, I'm, I'm definitely pro putting LGBT education into sex ed. I believe that the LGBT community is excluded from sex and abstinence education only because I think our society as a whole is a little behind on accepting LGBTQIA uh, people as citizens. And it's vitally important for our LGBTQ kids because unfortunately a lot of them won't get any of that information at home and they're not going to get it from other people in the community so the schools have to provide that because our LGBTQ kids need to understand how to be safe, how to be proud of who they are. Frankly LGBT lives and LGBT reality is kept out of um, curriculum but it's not kept out of people's lives. I mean the vast majority of young people in this country will tell you that they know people, um, including peers, that are members of our community or believe they may be members of our community. People just are misinformed, you know, and that is where hate comes from. They don't have their exposure to what's really going on and to all of the different types of people that exist. So that's why I feel like we do need to touch on LGBT issues. And so including us only empowers young people to be able to uh, both understand, to be inclusive, to be more than tolerant but respectful, and to be able to live empowered lives when they are in fact members of our community. Thank you. This was Tashara Morton from WB Saw High School reporting to you.